If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. I won't even know what to call you. Sister. Hi guys, so I missed last week's vlog because I had essay deadlines, so I'm going to talk about both episodes uh, this week. Um, I'll start with the Lannisters because I don't really remember the order that things happened in. So we found out that the Lannisters don't have any more gold mines left, which means that they don't have any money left. And if you think about it, money for the Lannisters is like, it's like their thing. It's like, imagine Daenerys, like, she didn't have dragons, everyone just thought she had dragons. Like, they still have power, but it's all in the name now. Like, like one of their sayings is literally, a Lannister always pays his debts. Like, no, a, like, a Lannister can't pay his debts. <laughs> Lannister will pay you back in a week. And so apparently they've been borrowing money from the Iron Bank of Valros, which has just suddenly sprung itself into our lives. And I'm not really sure what it is. I'm not sure how it works. Because Tyrone says that thing about, oh, if you can't pay them back, like, and you, you can't not pay them back because they'll find you. So is the implication that they have an army and they'll, like, they'll come after you if you don't pay them back? I don't really know how it works. Um, I'm guessing we're going to find out. So I'll put that to the side. I do find them kind of boring, as in, like, banking. Like, that's not really why I watch Game of Thrones. But I'm sure it's heading somewhere. Then another really big reveal is Littlefinger who apparently set in motion the entirety of Game of Thrones because he first convinces Liza to kill her husband, who's John Arryn, the old hand of the king. And then he convinces Liza to send a letter to Catelyn telling her that the Lannisters killed John Arryn, causing Ned to take the job in order to find out who killed John Arryn, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and yeah, the, literally the entirety of Game of Thrones. I think the little thing stuff was really well set up. Um, and this episode, you can really see his uh, polarity to Varys, who, like, he's asexual. He literally has no desire, as opposed to Littlefinger, who wants to have sex with Liza and Sansa and Catelyn and the entire Tully family for some reason. Uh, I'm really enjoying Sansa's character development um, now, which is really speeding up, and this is what I want. Um, it's the way that the entirety of King's Landing you see Cersei thinking that she's a stupid little girl, um, and that's what lets her get away with whatever she wants, because Cersei doesn't see her as a threat. So then Liza comes along and interrogates her, and Sansa immediately plays the helpless little girl again. When I, you know that she's not. Like, it's the thing that little thing said to her earlier. Um, if your enemies don't know what you desire, they can't know what you plan to do next. And literally, like, if she's a stupid little girl, they, like, Liza doesn't think that she wants anything. It's great because um, she's watched Cersei rule for a long time, and then Marjorie came along and she watched what she did, and now she's watching Littlefinger, and it's like she's learning to be manipulative over time. And like at the beginning of Game of Thrones, like I, everyone was like, oh my god, Rob, oh my god, Arya. Yeah, like no one was like, oh my god, Bran. But yeah, and now, like, I'm holding out hope for Sansa, like, it, I, that's, this is what I want. I want her to start becoming political. Like, can you imagine the Queen in the North? That That is what I want. I will not sail for Westeros. How dare you? We have literally sat through three and a half seasons waiting patiently for you to get an army and for your dragons to grow and for you to get all the slaves that you want. And now you turn around and say to us that you don't, you're not ready to go to Westeros yet. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed because I know that you can do better. You have three dragons who are big and by the way that scene where the dragon just kills all the sheep and there's a strange indian boy watching isn't it was kind of cool i guess but you i know that there's a limited budget and the episodes are already kind of short and what did that scene really give me i i think that daenerys needs to sort out a few of her priorities although you can see the mole thing where she's realizing oh my god maybe things aren't morally black and white like i thought they were um, which is nice, but again, you could have you could have done that in Westeros. You really could have lots of opportunity for that there. Mm -hmm. And then we get to Tyrion's trial, which was amazing acting on the part of Peter Dinklage, and I would like to give him a personal shout out because I know that he's a big fan of my videos. I can only assume. So you could tell that Tyrion had planned this out from the very beginning, getting Jaime to drop his King's Guard duties. Very clever. I did think that the scene was a bit like, ooh, let's recite cool quotes from past seasons. Which Monsters, Monsters are, are dangerous. dangerous. Your, your joy will turn to ashes. ashes. Which I don't mind, because I do that in my spare time. I think that's fun. But um, I would have liked a little bit more back and forth. Like when Tyrion started telling off, um, what's his face? 
like, annoying King's Guard guy who was there, but Jocko was beating Sansa. Like, that's what I want. I want, like, people to be called out on their bullshit. And then Shay came along. And I thought, Ron, I thought that you you said you saw her get on the bow. That's why I kind of dismissed Shay. I was like, okay, like, she, nothing's going to happen with her. But no, I can't believe she would do that, though. As in, I, I do think it's a little bit out of character just because if Shay really cared enough about Tyrion to get that hurt, I would think, personally, that she wouldn't do that. Which uh, leads me to assume that she is being forced to give these opinions. As in, I was kind of thinking it when she was saying, oh, um, you are mine and I am yours. I'm guessing that Cersei is blackmailing her, or something along those lines. But the thing is, I just don't understand what you can blackmail Shay about, really, because she doesn't have anything except for Tyrion. Um, okay, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, my bet is on uh, Tyrion naming Jaime, obviously, as his um, champion. Um, and I don't know who the other's going to name. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. Again, I'm not scared at all. Which I will take as a very bad sign. Because Tyrion, you're not going to die on trial for Joffrey's death. That would just be the worst death that they could possibly give you. And the last thing that I have anything um, of particular relevance to say about is Theon. And I don't like Theon, and I don't like his scenes, I find them kind of boring. But, if I had to hazard a guess where it was going, um, I would say that Theon is aware he's not weak all the time. Um, you can see it when... What's his face? The bastard... Whatever his name is. Um, picks up the water, and there's this recognition in his eyes from when he was baptised in the light of the Drown God. Um, and my guess is that Theon is going to overcome this bastard. What's his name? Si he no, that's for Misfits. Hmm. But anyway, he's going to overcome... Oh, I definitely know his name. Malcolm? Ramsey. Ramsey. Um, I was saying something about Theon. But no one, no one really cares. So I give the... Um, the Episode 5, a 6 out of 10. But it thought it peaked uh, when Littlefinger made the confession and then went downhill. With Jon Snow scene, which I haven't really spoken about. Because it was a reunion of two Starks. And it's just the two Starks that I cared about the absolute least, except for maybe Rickon. Except I kind of care about Rickon. Because he's kind of cute. So yeah, um, and then this episode I give a 7 out of 10. Because I can finally see the plot starting to go somewhere. Um, and I think big things are going to happen in the next few episodes. Um, I will see you next Tuesday, most likely, because I have an exam, uh, but I'll be free afterwards to vlog my heart away for all my adoring fans who have sat through the entire video, which I'm guessing is quite long by now. I'm going to stop talking. Goodbye.